Uh, I mean, overall, the first half was uh, was, uh, was good, and then going to the second half, um, started sluggish. Um, and there was, I think, there were about five minutes, five ten minutes, where we just fell asleep and uh, um, conceded two goals. Uh, and then after that, it was just a uh, chase from there. But uh, I mean, overall, I think uh, I think the guys uh, did well. Um, it's, been, it's been a it's been a positive camp. And um, I, mean, I mean, these are the type of teams that we need to be playing against uh, to, to only to get better. So. More of these get more of these type of games. Uh, we, we only could get better. Julian, are, are all three are all three TFC players being released, or just you and Dwayne are going to be allowed to go? Um, all three of us are uh, being released. We're, we'll be meeting up with uh, the rest of the guys from TFC in Chicago tomorrow. Julian, you controlled a lot of the game again, but lack of penetration. This has been a reoccurring theme for Canada. What do you put that down to, and how can you fix it? Um, <clears throat> I mean, it just comes down to uh, more, more games. Um, this, is, this is my second game this year with, uh, with Canada, and uh, I mean, most of the guys uh, I know really, really well in the back of my hand. And then uh, just being able to uh, spend more time um, getting, getting these type of games and being comfortable in going forward. So, uh, I mean, like I said, I think like, again, if you look at the first half, uh, it was a good example of us being able to go forward. You know, we were, we were patient on the ball, and uh, I mean, we were able to create you know a couple of chances. But with I me mean, with the home advantage, like uh, like, like uh, today. We're going to get qualifier games where we uh, need to score goals, and uh, I think that was missing definitely in this game today. You talk about home advantage. Do you feel like a home advantage out there? <laughs> no, not really. Not, uh, <laughs> not what I'm used to on the weekends, but um, it's, uh, it's it's pretty much expected uh, to see uh, you know a lot of the, the opposition uh, supporters come out today. And uh, I mean, it, it, it's, that's, that's not an excuse at the end of the day. It's, uh, it's, all, it's all about uh, <clears throat> getting used to, I guess, the stadium, the field. And also getting used to get, getting results at home. Why do you think fans come out for TFC games and don't come out for Canada? It comes down to uh, I guess organization. I mean, um, I've always thought that maybe if uh, CSA had something like like uh, TFC did, where you know an organization that the TFC has, the MLSC, is, it's, it's incredible. Um, uh, I mean, top European clubs in the world have this type of organization and support. And, and, and I mean, if CSA had something like that, I think going for them, I guess uh, uh, you, you definitely see a difference in, in, in the response in the, in the home games. So uh, I mean, but to be honest, it's, it's gotten better you know, from over the past years, and um, I could see that uh, you know they're they're doing what they can do, but uh, there's always room for improvement. Julian, what does this team have to do to be successful against Honduras? I know you're going to be there. But Pardon? Against Honduras, what does this team have to do to be successful against Honduras? Um. So, we uh, these are uh, the, I mean we know we know exactly what to expect. Uh, we played against Honduras in, in Montreal and um, we uh, we lost that game. So I mean this is uh, the type of game that uh, the guys need to get involved in. And I think what we have to do is um, just play our game. And I mean, I mean we're, we're gonna get chances. It's all about uh, finishing the chances because uh, when it comes down to qualifying. And that's the only thing that we could. Uh, that's the only thing that will get us through the next stage, or, or to even to the World Cup, is to, to win games at home. Um, not, I mean, I don't, I don't even think ties is enough. Uh, you know, at this uh, at this stage uh, in football, at home games, when it comes to World Cup qualifiers, it's uh, it's a win-win situation for us. Julian, you're used to playing with Patrice and Atiba in the middle. You were with uh, Atiba and Will today. How did you rate that trio? Oh, I mean, for me, uh, I had a great time playing with uh, the three guys. You know. I mean, uh, for me, playing with you know, always playing with the team has been a pleasure in my career. For me, it's uh, my, my favorite uh, uh, partner to, to, to play with, and and, and this, the career I've had. So, and, and Will himself, he's uh, he's done exceptionally well. Yeah, I think he did a great job today, um, being able to to you know give the the guys on the the right side uh, you know, a hard time going up forward. And the time he had on the on the pitch, he did exceptionally well. So, so I was happy to, to, to have those guys uh, on my side, and they definitely helped me uh, you know, do my thing on the pitch as well.